picture it. You're sitting in an ICOC Bible study and you've brought your Bible, in my case, the King James Version, a Bible, by the way, my grandmother gifted me when I went away to college. And you're sitting in this Bible study with your King James Version on your lap. And the, the, the people studying with you, in my case, the two young ladies, they look at my King James Version and they say, oh, I say, yeah, this is my Bible. And they look at each other quickly and I can tell instantly they don't approve. Once we start the Bible study and they open their Bibles, I notice that they both have the same Bible. Not, not just the, the cover art of the Bible, like literally the same publisher, but they have the same version of the Bible, the NIV or the New International Version. They say to me, after I read, because they ask you to read a scripture from their script and the first scripture you look at, they asked me to read and I read out of my King James Version. And as you know, King James has a lot of old English in it, the thou, that kind of thing. And they had this weird look on their face as I was reading out of the King James Version. And they said, after I finished reading, you know, how about uh, we all use the same Bible? Because this way we are, we are all on the same page, reading the same thing. And it sounded sensible at the time. Because after all, it does make sense for continuity purposes that we all use the same version. At least that, it sounded logical to me at the time. And I said, okay, I mean, it felt a little bit weird. And, you know, like they were exerting control in a very subtle way which they were, but uh, I, I agreed and one of the, the girls gave me her Bible and I used that one. And once I started reading from the New International Version, which is uh, a much more modern day English version, they had this collective sigh of relief on their faces that I just sensed. So after that, at the end of the study, they said ever so cheerfully that they, what the girl leading the study would give, she promised to gift me with an NIV Bible of my very own. And I was like, okay, sure, thank you. Because at the time, I mean, it's not like I was in love with the King James Version because it was Old English. But at the same time, it was really obnoxious of them to, to tell me that, oh, well, if we're gonna do the studies, we have to do it in our version because it's presented in such a way that their version is the right version. And the more of the studies that you do with the ICOC, and I found this, the further along I got, and when I got baptized into the church, it was clear and evident that the ICOC's 
trademark uh, Bible was the New International Version. That was the one that, that they recommended. That is the only one they used. And pretty much any other version they looked down upon. Because I suppose the upper echelons of leadership are the ones that set this up that's this way that, that this was the this was the version but the arrogance of the ICOC to feel that way about a version of the Bible and if you studied the Bible with the ICOC you know exactly what I'm talking about that they really they push this new international version and if you got another version of the Bible um, the King James, the NSBV, the new, uh, the NLV, uh, the, and then there, there was a lot of different versions. Um, they had an issue with that. You had to have the NIV. It was one of the many unspoken rules in the ICOC. So, I just wanted to share that because... Sometimes when you go, like when you're recovering from spiritual abuse in the ICOC, that could be one of those things that you they have imprinted on your subconscious mind that you have to have this particular version of the Bible. I mean, these type of rules were not only obnoxious, they were arrogant, they were narcissistic, as in true ICOC fashion to think whatever they condoned or used was the right way and everyone else's was the wrong way. So, you know, you end up having this internal struggle with things. But, you know, I think that's all I have to say about that for today. I'll check you guys later.